The Germans hadn't arrived yet in Wuj. They came after about a week, I think, or something like that. And my, and my mother didn't know what was going on. There were all kinds of rumors of what they were doing uh, and that they were in Vielun, which is on the border. And, and of course, the, the communications they must have got was that the Germans were moving very fast and they didn't, she didn't know where they were. So there was enormous tension in the home and my mother was terribly nervous and, 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 and concerned and worried what was happening to her whole family. So this is the first time that I really started feeling the emotions and the feelings about what war was all about. When my mother was walking up and down, walking up and down the room and couldn't contain herself waiting. Eventually they arrived, you know, because the Germans would be pushing the population, not only Jews, but population in front of their armies to create havoc uh, amongst the army of uh, the Polish army. So eventually they all came to Łódź. Nobody went to work. There was like uh, a, a curfew. They arrived. They arrived very quickly. I don't. Even, you can check that out. How, how quickly they came it was either five, six, or seven days that they arrived in Łódź very quickly, and um, as soon as they arrived, there was all kinds of things about doing things to Jews and uh, and 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 my first memory and contact with Germans is when they actually came to look for and take away my grandfather. I saw two Gestapo men arriving trying to take away my grandfather. My grandfather was sick, so they took my father. And this was the first time that I really was absolutely uh, very, very scared and, and didn't know what was going on. And of course, my mother became an absolute nervous uh, uh, wreck. And of course, when they brought him back unconscious, you know, from the cellars, I mean, th this was the beginning of, of, of the Calvary.